What's it, Brian? today I just picked a spot so I'm just gonna prime them first with some concealer this is just my NARS radiant creamy concealer <laughs> radiant creamy concealer in custard so if the lighting keeps going funny in the room I film in I have a what's that thing called you know like a skylight thing and it's really like on and off sunny today so it might keep changing yeah I'm just gonna set that with this is the Rodile Instaglam translucent HD powder this is new it's just like a translucent powder it's pretty good I used it on the weekend and it did a good job I haven't done like a talk through like a chatty video in like forever so I'm going to use, so I'm just opening this with open tinting I'm using. This is the Sleek Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette in A New Day. And it looks, I haven't used a Sleek Eyeshadow Palette for so long. I used to use them all the time, but this one just came today. So I thought oh, I'll just use it today. And the colours look really pretty. So this is what it looks like inside. So it's pretty neutral. There's some shimmers. There's some mattes. Um, so I'm going to start with this shade here, which is just like a warm-ish neutral transitional shade on my Sigma E40. And I'm just going to buff that into the upper crease area as my transition. This lighting, so annoying, so bright over there. I am then going to take this dark brown shade over here on a MAC 217. And I'm going to start working that into more the actual crease to just give you some definition and also in this outer V area. So I'm concentrating this first of all here and blending it and then when it's almost all gone off the brush I'm then just dragging it through that bit of crease there like kind of going up into that area but not bringing it down. Go back into your original brush and just blend out those edges. Okay, I'm then going to take, I'm going to do this whole eye first, I think. I don't usually do that, but I find when I do like talk through videos like this, they're usually super long. So I figured if I do one eye first, then it might be quicker. I'm going to take this shade here, which is like a shimmery, like I'd say it's like an antique gold. It's like a gold, bronzy, goldy colour. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, see what this comes out like on its own first of all and then if it's not that vibrant I might try like wet the brush let's see mm, yeah I'm gonna wet the brush I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay spray to just wet the brush I'm just applying this on the whole lid space for a really nice really nice color like really bronzy gold you see Ready. This is first impression by the way because I haven't used as you saw I've just opened this palette so I haven't used it. A little bit of fallout so that was good we did eyes first. Not sure about this brush for application. This is a NYX brush I have no idea what it's called it's just like a flat synthetic brush. Let's just wet that one. Oh yeah that's much better. And then I'm just going back to my MAC 207 just to blend out the edges. How is it that I've only just started and I've already run out of room on my little table? And um, while we're here, let's just highlight that brow bone. I'm just going to take the... I'm going to take this shade here in this palette. It's not a white, it's like an off-white. And I'm going to use the brush, this like little applicator brush that it came with. Which, as I said, I don't like, but I feel like for this, it will be fine. It's going to just pack on that colour. Whoa, that's pretty pigmented. Whoops. 
just blend that away. That's pretty nice actually. Yes. Um should we do a winged liner? I think so. Let's try this. I don't think I've ever used this in a video. This is the Rimmel Scandalized 24 hour like jumbo liner. Know how weird it is for me to be doing this without having music on. I've always got music on in the background. It's like really quiet. Oh, sorry, I couldn't sweep there. I just have to get that little bit in there. Pretty good wing. We can tidy it up a little bit with some concealer in a second, but mm, that's pretty good. It's quite up. Mm. Okay. Let's just quickly do this eye and then we'll put some mascara and lashes on. So let's just get this one done. Put some mascara on. Ooh. Two Face better than six. Just to prep them for falsies. Which today I'm going to go for these ones, which are the Huda Beauty lashes in the style with the hairs attached to them. This is the style Scarlet. So let's just pop these on. Ready? So we're going to move on to the face. Um, I'm going to prime it first of all. This is just the Too Faced Hangover X. This is my favourite primer like ever. It's really hydrating. Oops. Um, oh, try not to get a big lump of it on your lash. Or in your hair? What the hell? Okay. 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 Yeah, try not to do that. First of all, I'm actually just going to use a slight colour corrector. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector, which I now can't open because I've got primer on my hands. Mm. It just like has like this slight orange tint to it. So it's not like orange, it's just like salmon-y colour. And this is new, but I have used it a couple of times and uh, really good. So what I do is I just apply this first of all before I put on like any foundation. I just apply it where I get the most dark, which is here. And I also have this little vein here, which is pretty like proper like bluey purpley colour. So I just apply quite a small amount like underneath this area. But can you see how much that's like brightened that area already and like... We haven't even put foundation or concealer properly on yet. So it's pretty darn good. It looks to me, I haven't got the Becca brightening one, but it looks to me like it's pretty similar. But you can see like, like what the hell? What the hell? Like this blew me away. This is pretty impressive stuff. Okay, so now I'm super excited because I've got this new thing to try and I've wanted to try it since I got it. I went to a launch for it the other day, which was like a dinner, really nice dinner at Zuma, which is one of my favorite restaurants anyway. And I got to meet one of the guys, one of the co-founders, Eric, who was so nice. Um, it's not a brand new product, but I think it's only just launching here in the UK. They sell it in Selfridges. He's in Selfridges now, I believe. Um, it's the Colour Me Flawless in a Flash Automatic Foundation Application. So it's not a foundation, it's an applicator. And this is the box. I haven't even opened it yet. I've obviously seen the demo at the dinner. Let me just open it, it's gonna make a noise. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Really cute design. And it's got like a little sponge here. And that is what we're gonna use to apply the foundation. Let me just pull that out so the battery will work. And you're probably gonna be able to tell on here, but can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's like vibrating. So basically this thing like vibrates. I'm so excited to try it. So it like vibrates and you just use it to apply your foundation. And it's meant to be bomb.com. So we're gonna try it for the first time today. As you can see, I haven't used it. This is first time, first impression of using this product. Um, so let's give it a go. Okay, so the foundation I'm gonna try it with is my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, I have got the shade 6.0, no, I've got the shade 6.5, 
I've also got the shade 9, um, which I'm just going to add a tiny bit of 9. 6.5 is pretty much my shade, but sometimes it looks a little bit pale. Um, he did say to me the first time using it, which you don't have to do every time, you're better to put a little bit on and rub your finger like around the sponge just so it's got some foundation on it as like a base and then go in with the actual foundation so I'm just going to apply a pump I'm really excited to try this I really don't really know what to expect so just turn her on So far, so good. That looks pretty good, right? It feels kind of weird because it just feels a bit like, what are you doing? Because you're just like hardly doing anything. It's like basically doing it all for you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dab on my most spotty areas to put some product on. I'm going in like downward motions, like I'm not putting any pressure on this at all, I'm just basically just stroking kind of down because I feel like that's the direction your hair lay, so that's going to give you the most smooth finish. It's a really good shape like sponge to like go around like the eyebrows and stuff, like because obviously I've done my eyebrows already, that like fits around them really nicely. Like it's not too big. But then it's also not too small, it's going to take you like ages to do your whole face. Okay, through all that excitement I forgot to put the number 9 in, but oh well. So that was just 6.5, so this is 6.5 in that shade. So far so good, this is bottom, I'm liking it. And he did say you can use it also for concealer, so let's give that a go. Um, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Um, I guess I'm going to go apply this under my eyes first and then use the machine to blend it out. Like that. Okay, so let's go again. Okay, what I'd say is it gives really good coverage, like, whoa, like, whoa, but I think you don't need to put on anywhere near as much as I normally would, like, I put on obviously quite a lot of concealer, because usually I blend out my damp beauty blender, which takes away some of the excess product as well, whereas I feel like this, which is a good thing, doesn't absorb much product, so you don't actually have to use as much as normal. So that's definitely something I wouldn't do next time, is you don't need to use as much as you normally would, which is amazing. Um, to contour, I'm going to use this, which is new. This is the Sleek Cream Contour Kit, which is cream. It looks like this. I'm going to go for the shade Medium 5, which is this one in the centre here. I haven't, you can see, I literally haven't used this yet either, so this is a first impression too. So... You know what, I'm really thinking about shaving my face. Have you seen that? Like loads of people do it. Because I've got so much fuzz. Hmm. <laughs> this brush is way too big to do this bit, but hey ho. It's what we're doing. This shade is nice. It's not like too harsh. Okay, well, that blended out really well. Good, right? That looks really flawless, really good. Liking that. Let's quickly set this under eye with that same Redial powder. I can't believe how, like, full coverage my under eyes. To set my contour, I'm using my Hula Bronzer on the Benefit contour brush as well. Love this brush. I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows because I've definitely got concealer in them. I'm then just going to bronze up the whole face with my Milani Baked Bronzer. This is in Soleil. This has got like more of a shimmer to it. So it's going to give the face more of a glowy finish. 
For a highlight, I'm gonna go in with Champagne, Champagne Pop. I'm gonna line my lower lash line with my Urban Decay Whiskey Liner. And then I am going to smudge that out with a pencil brush. I'm just gonna take that transitional shade, if I can open it, the transitional shade, which is this one here, and I'm just gonna also buff that underneath the lower lash line. Mascara on top, where well, I put it on like the base of the top to make sure your lashes blend, and then obviously the lower lash line as well. Okay, so finally moving on to lips. I'm gonna line them with, this is a sleek lip liner in lingerie, number 294. Wow, these are really nice. I've never used a sleek lip liner before, but that is, they're super creamy. They're really similar to the Kylie ones and to the Huda Beauty ones. Just drop the lid. This is what happens, guys. This is what happens when I film normally, but obviously it's a voiceover, so you don't see all this stuff, but this is what happens. I drop everything, everything I drop all the time. Um, <laughs> For liquid lipstick, I need, oh my god. <laughs> For liquid lipstick, I'm using, this is also by Sleek. This isn't sponsored by Sleek, by the way. I just literally, loads of Sleek stuff arrived just before I started filming. So I was like, hey, I'm going to just use this in my new video. So Sleek, this is in um, a birthday suit, which I actually already have this. This is a new one, but I actually already have this. It's really nice, so I thought I would use it. I don't know if I've used it before. Have I? I don't know. You tell me. I don't remember. If I have, it was ages ago. It's a really nice colour. But yeah, so I've put the lip liner on just like that. So it's almost like a contour because this is going to be a bit lighter. So it's going to give you a bit more of like a fuller contoured lip. I think I just remembered why I don't use this that often. It's because I don't really like the applicator. It's like hard. It's not like a brush, you know. It's like hard. But the actual product itself is gone. Okay. So that's dry. That dried really quick. I'm just really going over the lip liner and the kind of like shading it a bit. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just spray my face with some of my Urban Decay Vitamin Spray. This isn't really a setting spray, but I feel like when you've got quite a lot of makeup on at the end, it just like refreshes your face and makes it just look a little bit more natural, you know? Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. Really quite happy with how this came out today. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I just went with it and uh, put it at the back um so yeah so loads of new products pretty much everything i used apart from foundation and concealer was brand new like i think that's pretty good and so far so good like really loving this little little tool definitely gave me like more coverage than i usually would get from the products i used obviously i wanted to use foundation and concealer that i've used before so i could get like if this actually made a difference to the application and um, definitely my under eye feels way more like covered like more coverage um the sleek contour cream contour love i'll definitely be using that a lot and i think it's really good for beginners because it's not too crazy and it's so easy to blend out like with or without the machine you could just tell it was really easy to blend out so i think for beginners that will be bomb and if you want to try cream contour i would get that one because for the price i don't actually know how much it is i'll leave it down below um but it's not going to be expensive because it's sleek and i think it's super easy to use so i think that's a definite definite thumbs up from me so i guess that's everything for this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it i feel like i didn't chat much at all like at all <laughs> um I haven't done one for ages, so I just kept forgetting to talk, and it was just weird doing a makeup without any music. But let me know if you prefer it when I talk to you guys rather than doing a voiceover. I think it's about 50 50 of what you guys prefer, so let me know what you prefer. And I guess that's everything, so I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!